What is going on all of my greedy bastards? My name is Tyler. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, let's go over Citadel's short position since we are getting close in my personal opinion to the AMC mother of all short squeezes, but also talk about what is the one thing that will force Citadel to cover on their short positions because Citadel has about $450 billion worth of capital. If this one thing does not happen, they may possibly never be forced to cover cover but i do think this one thing is right around the corner so let's get into all of this juicy information drop that like on the video as well as consider subscribing to the channel if you like my insight into this situation or if you just want more amc videos just like this one but before we do get into it guys i think the amc movement is obviously really brought together by over four million individual investors some of you guys have been in a dark place some of you guys really amc has changed your life for the better and i think I think that's important as a community to help better other people's lives in a large amount it really is pretty easy to do now i'm not saying you guys have to but this is my ex she was in a rollover crash with one other person about four to five in the morning last night the other person they died on the scene she went into a coma she had a brain beat brain bleed she was in brain surgery for about four hours she has since woken up a little bit they still have her kind of sedated but she does know her name uh where she's at i don't think she knows what happened but she she she's it's looking good right we're just gonna say that i'm not a doctor i wasn't there because of covid they're not letting people uh in the room besides her mom but <clears throat> Anyways, it's looking pretty good. If you guys want to donate anything, it should be a full tax write-off. It's obviously something you guys don't have to do. But if you want to, she does have a son. Obviously, not going to be working for a long time. Even her, sh her whole shoulder is fractured or something or shattered. I'm not exactly sure, so bear with me. But that link will be pinned in the top comment. It will mean the world to me and to her and to everybody else. Let's really show what the ape community is all about. I think that is a very cool thing to have a community like this with all of you guys. I just want to say I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. That will also be linked in the description as well. Like I said, the pinned comment also. So let's get into the meat and bones of this video and what we are talking about. So let's first acknowledge Citadel's short position. As we do know, uh, let's go right here. Excuse me. Citadel has a put position at $33.44 for about eight and a half million shares. But what you guys probably don't know is that, you know, Fintel, they collect all of the filings. So they are like a portal for all of the filings from the hedge funds and institutions. But like I said, what you might not know is that hedge funds now must disclose their long U.S. stock holdings as well as any short positions that are made via listed put options in quarterly filings, filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission. They are not permitted, or I shouldn't say not permitted, they do not have to disclose their share short position. So in my personal opinion, Citadel is up to their neck in short positions against AMC stock. There's really no way to know this. You guys can see right here, JP Morgan, they did disclose their actual share short position of uh, about 180,000, but a majority of this is all puts they do not want to expose themselves and really tell us how short they are on amc but as we do know citadel they obviously have a huge interest of playing the put side so they probably have a huge short position that is pretty much undeniable and the fact that we're seeing the short interest continue to go up now at about 20 percent in the same time that amc has went up about 45 percent from the lows that we did see almost you know 50 percent <clears throat> It's looking very good for us as the long shareholders of AMC stock. So I wish I could give you guys a definitive number of shorted shares, but they simply don't have to report that. I don't think a lot of people knew that, so I did want to put this in this video. But a, a, really the main por portion of this video is when will Citadel be forced to cover? And this is something that not very many people are, are actually talking about, or at least with the level of clarity that I hope to provide to you guys in this video. So the one thing that will force Citadel to cover, and I've talked about this, I believe twice on the channel already, but is a stock market crash or correction. And let me tell you why. We know the hedge funds and institutions, they are severely over leveraged on, mar on, on margin, sitting at about $900 billion of 
total margin outstanding. And essentially what happens if you guys have ever been a hundred percent on margin or, or even close to that, even 50%, you know that when your overall portfolio starts to go down in value, your margin maintenance levels start to go up at the same time. So you really take a beating when your portfolio drops and you are prone to margin calls. I have been margin called before only for a couple hundred dollars when I first started investing. That's why I don't use as much margin now. Stay at about 25%. But these hedge funds institutions, they have not learned their lesson. And it's quite obvious that we are due for a crash or correction. And that is how it plays out when these crash or corrections happen. But, you know, essentially when a hedge fund is looking at all of their long stock and their short positions, when this crash does come, they cover their short positions first because they are the riskiest. And you guys can think about it think about it like a stair step, right? You're going to see the smaller shorts that get those margin calls first. And then you're ultimately going to see guys like Citadel with, you know, half a trillion dollars of assets under management that will never be forced to cover because they have billions of dollars they could put up as collateral in the short positions. But once that long positions start to go down and mind you with, you know, people like Citadel that have two, 3000 positions, you're not going to see their portfolios dramatically drop unless there is a crash or correction. And that is ultimately what is going to cause the mother of all short squeezes. And they are likely to be some of the guys that cover when AMC is thousands of dollars per share just because they are hoping and praying and probably pissing themselves when AMC does go through this mother of all short squeeze, but praying that AMC does not continue on this rally. And as long as apes do hold on to their shares, this rally will continue. Also, you guys, uh, this has happened before in the past. The Volkswagen short squeeze did happen back here in, let's pull this out to the all time, uh, October of 2008 at the bottom of the market. That is exactly when the Volkswagen short squeeze did happen for about four days. So this is not a question of if it's going to happen or, you know, it's really a question of when it's going to happen. As you can see right here, the S&P is severely overstretched. And if you pull it out to the one-year chart, we have actually started to curl down. Now, to get to these 10, you know, 10% correction levels, you're looking at going back to about March of 2021, which is really right around the corner. That would put the S&P 500 at about $4,000 per share. So I think that is relatively likely. I am thinking we're going to see an even bigger crash or correction, probably down to about 25%, which would put us at about, you know, July's pricing of 2020, which is very reasonable in my personal opinion, or even, you know, what we've seen before we did see the crash of 2020. That would put us, you know, at about a 35% correction, but really a 25% correction, that would really put us at about, uh, September 4th, 2020. So about one year ago. And that is really on the table when you are considering how much margin that is outstanding and how fast these hedge funds will be to liquidate their positions to pay back their margin. And if they don't do that, the banks will step in, the brokers will step in, they will forcefully liquidate on their riskiest positions first, which is arguably AMC stock. So it's not quite, quite clear what Citadel's actual short share position is, but I would imagine it is very high due to the amount of capital they have and really what we have discovered as a community. They are obviously not the biggest fans of AMC in general. So just to briefly recap, we do not know exactly what Citadel's shorted share position is, but from everything we know, it is likely very, very high. Millions, tens of millions of shares potentially. Also, we are looking for the market crash or correction to trigger the shorts to start covering. We're going to see the smallest shorts start to cover first, while you're going to see the bigger guys like Citadel really try to hold out and ultimately dig themselves a huge hole that will really send AMC stock home and everything else we've talked about in this video the markets are likely to go through a crash or correction in the near term future but there is no way to actually predict when this will happen so that is all for this video drop the like on the video as well as consider subscribing to the channel also for those of you guys that do decide to donate obviously you don't have to that is by no means me telling you guys to do that but if you guys do want to i would greatly be appreciative i know she would as well. So with all that being said, I will see you in the next video.